Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings, and this is how to loop a sample or a recording in BandLab. So here is a guitar recording that I made earlier, and I want to loop it so that it repeats along with the beat. So to do this, I need to move the mouse cursor up to the top right hand corner of the recording over this uh, loop icon so that it turns into this double headed arrow and then press down on the left mouse button and drag cursor to the right. And you'll notice that at the end of each loop of the recording, there is this white vertical line that marks the end of one recording or one loop and the beginning of the next loop. So you can trim the end of that so that it is exactly X amount of loops long. And now if I play that, You can hear that that's been looped, but it's not in time with the drum beat. And that's because if you look at the end of my loops, they're actually longer than one bar length. And if you look up above the top track, you'll see this section here, which is the ruler. And on this ruler, it's got all these little lines on it. But there's a longer line at the end of each bar. So this long line here and then above beside it, it's got this two, which means that's the beginning of the second bar. And then at the end of the second bar, we've got another long line and then the number three. So if I want my recording to stay in time with the drum beat, I'm going to need to trim the recording down to size. So, if I click on this long bar here at the end of the first bar, it'll move this track position marker to the end of the first bar. And that is the closest point to the end of my recording. If your recording was longer, you might need to do it at the end of the second bar, for instance. So now that I've got this track position marker lined up with the end of the bar, I'm going to right mouse click on the recording and click on Slice on the pop-up menu. And then I'm going to click on the slice that's after or rather I'm going to click on the part of the recording that is after the slice, which is the section to the right of the slice. And then I'm going to click on delete on the pop up menu. And if your recording doesn't start at the beginning of a bar, like mine does, then you might have to do the same to the beginning of your recording as well. So now that I've got my recording one bar long, I can go back up to the top right of the recording. If I click on it first, then you can see it will come up here with this icon at the top right. And then I can drag again. And this time, you'll see that the white line is now lined up with the long line on the ruler. So my recording now will stay in time with the drum beat. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.